can't believe it, Andy replied dryly. Kermit will do anything to get us into trouble. That's what he lives for, getting us into major trouble. Did you hear that little mouse laughing while Conan pounded me into the ground, Evan asked. I was up in the tree, remember? I could see him laughing, Andy declared. There was a long silence at the other end. And then Andy spoke in a hushed voice, just above a whisper. Evan, are you ready to use the monster blood on Kermit? Yeah, Evan replied without having to think about it for even a second. I'm ready. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Bookworm's Goosebumps Retrospective. Today, we look at number 29, Monster Blood 3. Evan is forced to babysit his genius cousin Kermit, but he does everything to get him and his friend Andy in trouble. Fed up, the two take the monster blood and plan to scare Kermit. But things go wrong when Evan accidentally eats a bit of the monster blood and soon begins to grow. And he isn't stopping. The cover is bland. It's just giant feet on a playground crushing the swing set with a pool of monster blood on the ground. Compared to the other two, which gave a really gross feeling, this one really is a downgrade and doesn't do much to give me a sense of terror. Evan's growing up way too fast. In fact, there really aren't any scary moments in the book. This one was a real slog to get through. First off, the monster blood is rarely brought up till halfway through the book. Most of the first half is just to show how Kermit gets Evan and Andy in trouble. We are never told why he wants to get them in trouble. We're just told he's a creep. That's it. But what really made me hate this book is it pulls the exact same plot from Monster Blood 2. Evan's life is miserable because of someone. Then he decides to get revenge with Monster Blood realizing he made a mistake when he never planned how to combat the growing monster blood. Are. You. Kidding me. Did you forget what happened the last two times? Or does monster blood also cause temporary amnesia? Same when Evan becomes a giant, which isn't the first time. There is nothing scary about it. He just grew really big. But do you know what is worse than reading a non-scary book? One that still tries to be scary. This has some of the most forced prose I've read in a Goosebumps book that just made it drag on and on and on and please just end. Add with it several plot holes about Cuddles and Andy and the monster blood and continuity and at this point I just give up. This was not a fun read for me. I would avoid it unless you really like the monster blood concept. What about you, internet? What's your opinion? Till next time. Have a scary day.